Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Well, I've got quite a lot of downtime at the moment, as I'm sure some of you guys have by now, self-isolating because of the coronavirus and what have you. So made the most of my time and been going through some archives today and came across a, a trip that my girlfriend and myself made a couple of summers ago now to Snowdonia in Wales, to the Mac Loop, uh, the Low Fly Area 7, which is where the fast jets do their low level training through the hills. Um, great trip, but the images have just been sat on a hard drive, so I thought, why not make the most of them? I've edited a few, and I thought I'd knock a bit of a vlog together. Now, we only made one video on the iPhone, so uh, not a lot of video footage, but obviously plenty of stills, and it's the stills that I want to concentrate on and just show you guys the sort of settings I used and whatever. Um, I was shooting in RAW, obviously, AI servo, shutter speeds around... 800th to around 1,000th, something like that. Working on about ISO, between ISO 800 and, and 1,000, but all the settings will be on the images. So I'll play the video first. I say it's not great quality, but the sound's fantastic. And then we'll go through some shots together. I'm sure you spotted our green tent, which is vital when you go up the hill. You just never know what the weather's going to throw at you. As you can see, it started off with a lot of low cloud and quite dull, but over time the sun began to burn it off. A few cups of tea made with the kettle and the stove. The anticipation of something happening is, is, is tremendous, really. It's a great feeling, but uh, as you can see here, a couple of F-15 East Strike Eagles come round the hill quick as a flash and then they're on top of you almost some lovely bursts of vapor covering covering the aircraft fantastic and then uh, quickly grab your kit and uh, get focused up and <laughs> it's hit and hope a bit really sometimes it, it, it happens so fast when they come upon you but some lovely wingtip trails I mean this is on the 400 with the times 2 converter on it still get a good ISO at a thousand which the 1DX can handle and then as you can see here, lovely burst of vapour covering the aircraft. Fantastic that was. Just zoomed in a bit on there to give it a bit of uh, atmosphere, giving it a bit of uh, clarity on that one. And then I think this is the second aircraft coming past. Yeah, this will be the second pass because I'm down to 400 mil now. I've taken the two times converter off. And then there's a nice close up of the cockpit there. Back on the times two converter, so that's 800, still at 800 ISO. And then before you know it, they've passed you, but lovely cloud of vapor again covering this F 15 here. Again on the times two converter. And then this is obviously a different pass again because it's back on the 400, but in a flash they're gone. And then you can uh, get your heart rate back to normal again. <laughs> so it was a really lucky day, we were fortunate enough to get. Uh, not only some lovely weather with a bit of humidity to get the wingtips trailing, but uh, we've got a few nice passes from some F-15Cs, also based at Lake and Eat in Suffolk. Just hugging the hillside here as he turns towards us and then putting it on a 90 degree bank. Back on the 400 with the times 2 converter on for this shot. Some nice wingtip vortices. And this frame is a great frame, this one of the guys on the opposite hillside doing the same as us. Makes a nice frame. And then again, some uh, half a dozen or so chaps right at the top of the hill there, shooting down towards this F-15C. Nice close-up frame here of the F-15C showing its two-tone blue paint scheme. This F-15 stayed quite high, but still made a nice frame with some good light on his top side. And then this frame, just to finish off, lovely scenic view of the, the view that you sometimes sit and look at for hours when there's no aircraft coming through, but uh, beautiful place.
Job's a good one. I hope you enjoyed that, guys. Highly recommend trying to get over to Snowdonia if you can, Mac Loop. Loads of videos, obviously, on, on here on YouTube um, about the place, but I shall put in the description below a link to the various places where you can park. Uh, it gives you all the details of how long a walk it is, you know, how high you can go, um, nearest amenities, there's some pubs about and bits and bobs if you need to nip off for lunch. Some days it's really quiet. I say I've been there before and seen one aircraft all day. It is really hit and miss, um, but well worth it, even if you just want to go and have a bit of a walk up the hill and uh, sometimes the aircraft flying past is a bit of a bonus but it's such a beautiful place up there and you can still do some landscape photography or whatever. So, so I'll put a link in the description to the various points where you can park. Where we were was uh, called Cad West and Cad East, Cad East and West side of the hills. And there's a lay-by at the bottom. There's a, you can probably see on some of the video, there's a road, main road going uh, through the hillside there. And there's a quite a big lay-by for about, I don't know, 15, 20 cars, so you can get there early enough in the day, you can have, get a good spot and then it's literally 10 minute walk up the hill, so it's not too bad at all. But um, other than that, and obviously no sport, I'm working on a, an editing vlog at the minute, just uh, different types of editing and the way, the way that the flow that I do, I've lads edit in many different ways, but I'm just doing a vlog of uh, just working on one of how I do it, you know, pitch side for um, lighting, everything really, contrast, um, sharpness, anything like that. So I'm gonna go through that. That should be up in the next few days. And that's about it now, just keep plodding on really. Well, we can, but I um, hope you've enjoyed that guys. It'd be great if you could give it a thumbs up and it would be awesome if you could hit that subscribe button. Catch up again soon.